Hello friends, welcome back again. So in the first video, we have talked about uh, various different user roles and its capabilities and what um, WordPress admin dashboard looks like for the different user roles. Okay, so now in this video, I will talk, walk, give a walkthrough about uh, classes, functions and various methods and how these user roles and capabilities manage into the WordPress code base. Okay, so um, in my uh, editor i have opened these three files okay so first is wp roles class which is available in the wp includes folder so this uh, class is used to implement a roles api so this class used to add a role remove the roles and manage their capabilities and what options uh, so they uh, this class is also responsible to from which uh, like options name uh, we need to fetch the roles, uh, user roles and its capabilities. So if you remember uh, in the in the database, we do have a different uh, uh, like the user WP underscore user underscore roles that option name. Uh, this option name construct based on the table prefix. OK, and in the multi site setup, it also depends on the sub site because like WP underscore two underscore. Okay, so how this uh, row options name constructed and used to fetch the uh, user rows from the options table. Okay, so let's go step by step. So these are the public properties, roles, roles objects, uh, roles name, and the role key. So this role key uh, use, uh, which will be used to get the option name and from uh, to storing the role list and fetch from the options table. Okay, and use the behavior. We want to use a database for retrieval and the storage, which will be always a true. Okay, so all the roles, uh, whenever the new role added or new custom capabilities added or removed from existing roles, it will be saved into the database. And the site ID for uh, roles initialized. So because in a multi-site setup, uh, this site ID property will be used. Okay, so whenever the class construct call, so we have global uh, variable as well, WP user roles, which will have all the, a list of the roles okay so um for site site id so this is the for site method called in the construct method so, and this for site uh, which will check whether the current site id so if it's a multi-site network then it will get the current blog id okay and then based on that they will get the prefix so based on the site id they will get the prefix and then it will have a, a append a prepend to this user underscore roles uh, option name and this way this uh, role key will be uh, constructed and that uh, role key uh, option name will use to get all the list of the user roles from the database options table so in this you can see the get roles data so it will just check whether uh, it's a multi-site network or not and then it will just simply if it's a multi-site network then it will use a get block option else it will use the get options okay um so here uh, in the four side then it will initialize once we fetch all the roles then it will be initialize all the roles so it will in the init roles method they will simply just uh, uh, se separate out and store the role objects and the roles names and they will use the wp role class for each and every uh, to manage uh, each and every roles different way okay so we will also see the wp role class okay and they also have actions and filters so you can you can perform some actions whenever the roles have been initialized uh, or allow plugins to add their own roles so maybe you can use this action to add your own roles okay um, and there are a couple of functions so for example add role method okay so add role method used to add a role into database whatever the role and its display name and whatever the capabilities passed to that role uh, it will be the uh, it will be saved into the uh, uh, options table okay and simply they will just create a new uh, uh, class of object of the wp role class and then simply return it okay that object so this way we can add a role and we can also remove the role so if the role is exist then it will just simply remove that role from the options table too okay but we cannot uh, if that if that particular role is used as a default role then you it will up, uh, it will roll back to the subscriber role and it's there is um, like for uh, for custom access and to perform to have a to implement a custom uh, access for the different users uh, always add a custom roles but do not remove 
the existing default WordPress rules because it will be added uh, whenever the, uh, there is a new version available. Okay, so it's always good to mod uh, have good to add custom rules to achieve some custom access functionality. Okay, but do not remove the existing rules. But you can uh, either modify the existing rules as per the need. For example, let's say um, contributor. Contributor cannot publish their own post. And if you want to provide that access, then you can add just capability to that contributor role, and contributor role will have that access. Okay. So how we can add that capability? So there is a function called add cap. Okay. So whenever we pass the role name um, and then capability and whether it, uh, that role do have access to that or not okay so by default it will be always a true and if it's if it's a false then it will save into the database but whenever we check or uh, against that capability and if its value is false then that means that role do not have that capability okay so always it's a true and that role capabilities will be assigned uh, updated into the update options table too okay so in the update options table it's looked like this this is the like key uh, it's in add a format uh, okay so in the options table it will store in the serialized format and when we unserialized it it add a looks like this the uh, role name the and the actual display name and their capabilities and whether these capabilities have this uh, access through or false or not okay so in the wp roles so you can use the add cap for uh for giving uh for adding the capabilities and then remove cap to remove the capabilities okay um then uh, there are other get role method uh so get role method to get the particular uh, role object okay the wp role class object and there are get names if you want to uh, to list the roles names okay to display um so like it's displayed here in the change role drop down all these role names okay um then uh, the is role whether the given role is actual a role or not okay and there are a couple of other uh, functions you can see into this wp roles class okay so now let's talk about the wp role class so this wp role class is used to extend the roles api this wp roles uh, class and the wp role class have their own um, properties like name their own capability and the uh, construct method um, and then add a cap uh, remove cap and has cap has cap is used to check whether that role have that particular uh, given capability or not and we there is a filter as well role has cap which you can use to like programmatically if you want to modify you want to allow or you want to disallow then you can do that too okay so uh, each and every role have this uh, object of this wp role class okay and this uh, remove cap and has cap method will use uh, to uh, remove the capability okay so add a cap will again call the add a cap method of the wp uh, roles uh, uh, class object okay and this wp roles function simply return uh, the current object of the wp roles class okay um, okay so so this we will use this uh, wp role class method to add and remove the capability for the new you uh, new uh, newly added roles or the existing custom uh, existing default roles okay and then there is a uh, file called capabilities.php so all the uh, functions which we can use to add a roles to remove the roles um, then um, whether to check whether the current user have that particular capability or not so all these uh, functions will define here in the wp includes capabilities.php file so for example uh, first, uh, uh, first function is the map meta cap. I will come back to this function later because this is very important functions to understand. And then there is a current user can. So this function we generally used uh, to check whether the current logged in user have that particular capability or not. So for example, into the movie library, into the post types movie.php file, we have implemented a custom meta box. And he, when uh, and we have a register callback function on save post underscore movie action. And here we are checking whether the current user have edit access or not. If the current user have edit access, then and then only they can update the metadata into the database. Else it will simply return. It won't save the uh, entered metadata. Okay, so this current user can function used to check whether the current logged in user have this access or not. 
okay uh, so that's why this uh, current user can matter and behind the scene it uses the user can only difference is that the uh, current user can do not accept uh, having only two uh, parameters like capabilities and args and these args you can pass like any number of arguments which could be a meta capability or the object id object id belongs to the current uh, post id or the term id okay uh, or the page id okay and if and there is any other arguments you have to pass or not okay and then user can uh in the user can method uh it's uh so the current user can is the wrapper function for the user can method okay so in the user can method it accepts three uh, arguments like current user object the what capability we are checking against and uh, the other arguments okay so in the user can uh, method it will just simply check whether the current user is object or not it otherwise it will get the user data so if you, you if you have passed uh, id um, then it will get the object so either you can pass integer or like the user id or the wp user of ob class object okay and then it will simply just get the wp user uh, object and then it will simply call the has cap method of that particular user okay with the given capability and whatever the arguments we have passed which could be object id okay uh, which like against to check whether that uh, user can have access to that particular post or not for example let's say editor uh, author author can access only their own post they cannot access the other users post okay so if you want to check whether the author have uh, access to other post or not so if we are passing the id then it will uh, the wordpress will check whether that post id and the current logged in authors have the same or uh, it's the same authors or not if it's not then that means it does not have that uh, access and based on its capabilities wordpress will see check and then it will either return true or false okay so and uh, i will go through this uh, user has cap method uh, by step by step how it's working okay but let's let's see first other available um, uh, functions and all uh, classes available thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress